So, today seems to be a filmmaking day. Now, if you've been paying attention, you may have seen this balasang pop up uh, every once in a while. But, um, well, that's, that's not gone to plan, has it? Anyways, today we are doing a quick little review on the Orca clone. Uh, you know, straight off the bat, let's go with the looks, right? You've got this honestly gorgeous uh, anodization on the titanium here. Absolutely beautiful. Um, it's like this, I don't know, it's just really, really pretty. Um, and then I've got the white G10 here. Um, I've got some few scuffs on it because I've been doing mechanic work and all that with like dirty hands and I've been flipping this in the meantime as well. But um, I guess we can just get started right off the bat. Availability wise, 24 seven mate. I don't think you're ever gonna be struggling to find one of the color variants of these, right? It comes with white, black and jade handles, just like the real thing. And then you've got uh, five colors of this thing. You've got black, silver, blue, purple, and green, I believe, are your color options for the blade. I went for white and green. I wanted to get like jade and purple or jade and silver, but uh, I've heard that the jade handles have some issues with cracking. The black handles sometimes don't feel very nice, like it doesn't feel like a very nice U10. Uh, obviously, I've not felt the others, but this white, I mean, it seems pretty good, right? It seems like it's going to last quite a bit. Obviously, you get the marks here from the titanium like rubbing off, and then it's more visible, I guess. But um, you can dye this any color, right? So if I wanted, I could have like a bright pink G10, bright pink and green um, thingy here, right? Um, it has this kind of bite indicator here. Focus, not on the... I mean, there is a bite indicator here. There's, you know, I'm hoping it's going to... There we go. Right, so there's a bite indicator there. Does it work? Yeah, I'd say it works. I think what really makes it work though, in terms of you can't really chaplain on it, is this kind of big cutout here. Um, yeah, this kind of big cutout here in the this bit here. It kind of really helps uh, in terms of, you know, it's quite difficult to chaplain there because you have this kind of weird effect going on. In terms of uh, the back of the spine, it is, chamfered sorry it is chamfered all the way to the tip i think the actual whole blade is chamfered as well yeah um also i'm filming in 60 fps compared to 24 fps so let me know how you like that um usually i'll film in, in 24 fps just because i think it looks a little smoother well not smoother but it looks quite nice um but yeah, Chaplin comfortability, I think this is probably one of my most comfortable knives. It's very light, I think it comes in at like 90 grams or so. Um, and I mean, literally this thing will do any trick you throw at it, as long as you are flipping in real life and not inside a camera. Um, which seems to be something that just makes your flipping immediately worse. Right, for some reason I can't flip on a camera. I swear, in person, I can actually do, like, pretty impressive stuff, right? Like, sometimes it's just, like, flipping on camera just seems to be not the one, you know? Um, let's see if we can get this kind of half short stop. Nope, we cannot. But, um, yeah, availability-wise, really good. Price-wise, it's, like, what, £40, £50? Um, it's pretty cheap as far as values go, and I think for the... The materials, right, I'd say you're taking a slight risk in terms of durability, but um, for things like a squiddy on steroids, right, um, I carry this around with me, like, pretty much everywhere, um, okay, not quite everywhere, but a lot of places I go, you know, if I'm going to have a free minute, I carry this around with me, this is kind of my, my beta knife, I don't really um, carry any of the others, but um, this is definitely one that I really, really, not only enjoy flipping, but um, I just like I like doing, I like doing, I like picking up, right? This is super nice in the middle of a game, right? It's just it's light, you know. You don't get any fatigue really, um, from doing stuff, and um, yeah, no, it's it's honestly probably one of my favorite kind of knives to handle. Um, in terms of you know tolerances, it's a bit of tap. You can probably tune that out though, to be fair. But in all fairness, though, um, if I am to close this side of the knife. I mean, look at how much space you have on either side, right? Like, that's that's not a space. That's not a lot of space to avoid tap. And even then, the tap's, like, slight, right? Like, I've not got it tightened all the way. Um, like, 
you can wiggle it like this and there's no tap. I think it's really just the bite handle that's tapping and um, ambulance just goes by which is very nice coming to ruin my video. Um, but yeah, and then, you know, sound test wise, we've got I mean, come on, sounds pretty nutty. Um, and then obviously the, uh, if I can do it, that'll be nice. Um, there we go. Um, yeah, no, sounds really good. Uh, looks wise, I mean, it looks like an orca. So don't know what you're expecting there. I mean, look at it, Get this nice, really straightforward G10, these, you know, four pinholes with some weights down here, which have like screws, black hardware, nice green blade with the big cutout, with the little cutout there that makes it kind of look like the holes on an orca. <coughs> mm, oh, come on. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it looks like an orca, right? It looks just good in general. Um... Oh, this is maybe a bit better, you know. I might start doing my videos against this wall. Um, does literally every trick I want it to do flipping wise. It's pretty neutral. Um, if I give a demonstration. It's got great handle swing, considering, you know, sometimes you can uh, get these and it'll be a little tight. Although, really, what it is is okay, there's like four washers in here. There is uh, two steel ones that sit inside the blade. Per, this is per handle, by the way. And then you've obviously got your uh, phosphorus bronze ones on there. You need to make sure that the smooth sides are facing each other. So the smooth side facing away from the blade for the steel washer and the smooth side facing into the blade for the um, the bronze washer. Um, and then you should get pretty good swing. The bushings are usually quite good. This is on bushing, surprisingly. Um, I mean, play-wise, right? I mean, that's, that's the play. That's not a lot of play. Um, for something that's not only made of plastic, but also, it's, I mean, it's pretty cheap. Uh, you know, it's got very good tolerances for how cheap it is. I've just got these Teflon taped, and I've not had an issue with them backing out or anything, or even getting particularly loose. Um, honestly, it's just been an amazing knife would i recommend 10 out of 10 i think if you're looking for something like a squiddy where it's lightweight um but this is also full size um easy to carry you know it won't be fatiguing i guess it doesn't have the side of it doesn't look like a knife because i guess this kind of you know does kind of look like a knife but um it's got a green blade and white handle so it's gonna be a bit difficult for people to think it looks like a knife but i mean i guess some people will still get scared right you're flipping something that they can't see um but yeah, no, this is probably, it's definitely one of my top trainers. Um, I pick this knife up a lot. Um, and yeah, honestly, would I recommend? 100%, it's cheap, it's available, flips really well, looks amazing. And I mean, that sound, I mean, it's plastic, mate. That sounds... Significantly better than a lot of metal ball songs that I've heard, um, which is kind of nuts, right? Um, it's got this really nice tactile feel. It feels like a much. It flips like a proper ballad song, right? It doesn't flip kind of like the Squiddy flips a little funky. This flips like a proper ballad song, right? You can feel the momentum. It actually, you know, does that little vibratey thing, and it's pinsless, so it's like bloody fancy. Um, you know, nothing to worry about other than these two screws here. Honestly, this is absolutely superb. 100% um, recommend this knife. Uh, cheers for watching. Subscribe if you want. Leave a like. And, uh, you know, share the video, I guess, if you enjoy with your friends. You can give me a follow on Insta in the description. I've given up on shouting it out by, by word, I guess, because um, that's just kind of long. Um, but, yeah, cheers for watching, guys. Uh, peace.